Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the new card visual. Specifically, I'm going to talk to you about the new features released in the March 2025 Power BI update. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And of course, this is a great investment. Without further ado, let's do this. So before we go over the new features released in the March 2025 Power BI update, real quick, remember that the new car visual is going to be replacing the legacy car visual in Power BI Desktop and also the multi-role car visual. So eventually those two legacy visuals they're gonna be gone. So that's why you have to be very, very proactive and learn the new features for this new car visual. So the first feature that I wanna to talk to you about is the small multiples layout. So right here, check this out. I already created this visual and this is the new car visual, of course. Check this out. If you go over here, you can see here that I selected the new car visual and then I created this calculations. If you're not familiar with the new car visual, I'm going to share with you a link as well. I have a couple of tutorials that you can reference to create these KPIs. Okay. But the purpose of this tutorial is not to teach you how to use DAX to create these KPIs. Like I said before, this is going to be basically using the new features released in the March 2025 Power BI update. If you select the visual here, you go over here, small multiples layout, you have a couple of options here below style. See right here, we have cards and also table. Right now we have selected table. If we change it to cars, and we wanna do this in a second, let's copy this visual first to see the difference, okay? Control C, Control V, and then let's put it next to each other. So if we do this real quick, go over here again, like I said, small multiples layout, layout, and then style, and let's select cards. So now you can see the difference, right? There is a gap among the countries here. And this is just user preference. Some users might like together, like you see right here on the left, the table format. Other users might like the option on the right. So the next feature that I wanna to talk to you about is the small multiples layout headers. Let's select this visual real quick. If we select this visual, if we go over here again, small multiples header, so now you have the options here, specifically below options, we have orientation. And let's play with these features real quick. It's already selected, rotate all text 270 degrees, so that's fine. If you change it to horizontal, this is what's happening. And then you can also move it to the right, so in that way you can appreciate the labels better. So let's go over, rotate all text 90 degrees. So it's working also perfectly fine. It's up to you, like I said before, and also you can use this option called stacked. Check this out. Really, really flexible. Like I said, this is user preference. I like this option right here, the stack option, but other users might like something different. For example, if you keep selecting the visual, if you go over the position, you can also select right. And now you can see the labels on the right side of this visual. And then you can do the same here for the options, right? Rotate all text to 70 degrees, horizontal, you can play with it, but you get the point. It's more flexible. You can have a better view with these new features. Like I said before, I really like stacked and then let's keep it towards the left. The last feature that I wanna to talk to you about is the conditional formatting for small multiples layout headers. Check this out here. So we have this visual again. If we select this visual, let's go over header. We are already here under header. And then check this out. If we go over background, this is where the magic starts, okay? Please play close attention. So there is an option here called conditional formatting. Let's hit this option and then right here, field value, and then let's look for color. And then this should be color previous month profit. Let's select this one right here and then let's hit okay. 
Let's see what happens. Now you can see that the labels are changing based on the month over month growth. For this particular case, if it's great, if it's good performance compared to previous month, so we're gonna have a green label here and then if it's the opposite, we're gonna have a red label. Really powerful, my friends. Like I said before, in the past, we didn't have these options, but now we have more options so we can just play with it and then share with our end users and see also their feedback. So really powerful. Again, you can also filter here, give more options and see how this is changing. See, it's changing dynamically. There you have it, my friends. If you found this tutorial helpful, like I said before, hit the subscribe button, check these tutorials out, really good content as well, and see you guys in my next tutorial. Thank you.